Hello friends, welcome to my online tutorial. My name is Pranav Shukla and uh, today we are going for NCRT 9 English. Our today's concern is the supplementary reader moments and we are going for the first chapter, The Lost Child. Friends, uh, the first chapter, The Lost Child is a legendary story. It has remained on the top of the chart for a number of times. It is among the top grade Indian stories and won acclaim all over the world. It remained on the top among the few Indian stories and foreign stories and it earned a wide acclaim for the author. In fact, the author, the Mulkaraj, uh, the author Mulkaraj Anand is also regarded to be the doyan, the king of Indian writers writing in English. So he is there leading right from the front and we have a number of blazing trails of Indian writers writing in English including Mulkaraj Anand, apart from him we have uh, Kamla Das, Nizim Eskil, R.K. Narayan. So, But Mulkara Dayan has secured his own place and uh, is just phenomenal. Friends, uh, when it comes to Indian writers writing in English, uh, you will see a very typical pattern over there. Uh, nevertheless, it is very delightful. It is really a great delight to study, to read Indian writers, especially in English. Because these writers, all of them, go for a lot of description of the nature, the surrounding. One of them create the base, the platform, the whole surrounding for the entire story. They literally make you the part of the entire story world. So your interest gets engrossed. You are very much curious and you are desperate to go ahead with the story. Apart from that it is the stories of Indian writers are very ornamental. It is lush with very rich vocabulary. It is full of description of nature. It is full of description of surrounding. So they prepare you for the story. So you'll be the part of the story and thoroughly enjoy it. So the lost child is again a story from Indian writers writing in English, Mulkaraj Anand. And sadly, the story that the ninth standard has, has been a lot of, I can say, reduction in the main content. Few paragraphs have been taken out of the story. They were dealing with the description of the nature. So it is in, in a way a little loss to the readers. But uh, don't get disappointed. Story will definitely come in the further standards. So we hope so. So let's go for the story, The Lost Child. Uh, friends, uh, let me tell you the story first. The Lost Child is a story of a very small child from rural Punjab maybe. Uh, this child is taken to the fair. Uh, it may be the time of uh, reaping of a very good harvest. So these people actually celebrate this very good harvesting by organizing fairs. So this child is taken to the village where the fair is there and is so happy and excited to go to the fair. 
the importance of fair especially in the rural children is quite unbelievable they spare money for buying toys for buying sweets for ride in the for different rides or for buying some stuff from the from the fair simply going to fair simply wandering in the fair is also a great delight for the rural children their world is totally different from the urban children so it is difficult to understand for us but this child was very excited he had gone to the fair with his parents but unfortunately he loses his parents over there in the fair the child demands a lot of things in the fair but the parents are so poor that they cannot really afford so father gets really angry and mother tries to convince the child uh, in a polite way as she was driven by the spirit of the day so child really gets disappointed again and again but the child has got a lot of understanding he understands one way or the other way though he is of only 10 years but somewhere instinctively is very wise very understanding one so he understands the denial of his father and though he demands the thing but without waiting for the answer he moves on but ultimately after being rejected for many demands comes to a roundabout and he makes a very bold request over there to have a ride on the roundabout but the moment he turns to his parents to make the demand very loud one he has found his parents lost earlier when he was rejected he had a lot of grudges for the parents he thought his parents especially his father was very cruel very wicked and he seemed to be disgusting hating his father and mother but friends this story really gives us a great message and confronts us to a very very important reality of life that we hardly realize especially the children of your age when you are adolescent you have number of difference of opinions and conflict with your parents and you constantly think that your parents don't understand you you have number of demands and number of dreams to be fulfilled but you feel that they are not fulfilled and your parents don't understand you and you think that you hate your parents they are the most disgusting people in your life but friends when the time tests you when the time takes you to the kind of juncture where you feel you are losing your parents they might be ill you lose one of your parents or you have to go away from them then you realize that you love your parents much more than anything in the world and that really strengthens the bond between you and your parents so the same thing happens here the child when he loses his parents he realizes that he loves them much more than anything else in the world he starts crying he is desperately looking for his parents one stranger is a good hearted person uh picks him up lifts him and offers all the things that had been denied by his father earlier but the child uh turns his face from all these things that he really loved earlier and was desperate to get now he wants his parents and doesn't want anything else and he doesn't stop even crying shouting for his parents so the story there really highlights the bond of love and affection between the child and his parents and uh, so is a very touching story unfortunately at the end the reader never comes to know whether the child gets his parents or not but it is quite obvious that the man who has come to help the child must have definitely found out the parents and handed him over so let's hope for the best and with a positive note we'll start the chapter chapter is quite a uh, lengthy one so we'll finish it in two parts along with the question answers so let's start with the first part but before going to the first part friends here is the man himself mulkraj anand 
on the left hand side is is uh, young days then the prime time of the man how he looks and this is the old murklaj mulkraj anand so sever this photograph is a doyan is the king of indian writers writing in english so let's go for <clears throat> now reading the story friends i'm sharing the textbook so here is your textbook uh, i also share difficult words and the meanings highlight them so better you note them in your books later submit me along with the question answers our only aim is to get command over english language and vocabulary is the most the most required tool to get command over the language so don't forget my advice friends so in the first paragraph the author builds the atmosphere of happiness excitement of the people going to the fair he describes how the village is excited how the people are getting out of their houses to go to the another village where the fair is they are compared with the white rabbits as they come out of their barren in a flock and the way they look like the people are also looking like those rabbits when they come out of the houses from the streets from the narrow lanes it is wintry shed almost uh spring is uh on its way and this punjabi atmosphere of people wearing white outfit with the yellow turbans especially the men and women are in colorful garments in typical punjabi outfit so it is a description how the people come out so let's go for reading it it was the festival of spring may be called as uh lohri or uh besakhi from the wintry sheds of narrow lanes and alleys this both the words actually synonymous to the word streets alleys are quite bigger ones lanes are quite narrower ones streets even are bigger than both lanes and alleys emerged another words another word suddenly came out suddenly appeared started being visible came out of their houses so these are the meanings a gaily clad humanity gaily clad gaily means means looking very happy full of happiness clad means covered here the meaning is full of and humanity means the people so it is very ornamental language if i simplify the entire sentence uh it is the spring festival time winter is just over and uh, spring is already set still the wintry shed one of the effect of here yeah, the sheds means the effect of winter season still is seen over there and is the wintry effect the people from the narrow lanes and alleys come out looking very happy how they go to the fair some are going to the fair by walking some are riding the horses others are sitting especially the female and children they are carried in bamboo and bullock carts they are carried in bamboo and 
bullock carts you must have seen the bullock and uh, must have seen the bullock carts uh, there is an there is a canopy right on the top so they can be away from heat of the sun shower rain everything so they are carried by in bamboo and bullock carts out of them there is also a little boy our hero ran between his parents legs especially his father's legs matlab father and mother are there on the sides of the boy and this boy is dreaming over chalkao is full with life and laughter here life means full with life means looking very lively very active very excited and is laughing is enjoying the onset over there so this is the boy friends uh, i feel the picture is not appropriate this punjabi atmosphere so all the uh, people are in punjabi turban but anyways now friends uh i need to put a lot of efforts to make you understand the entire thing i have to make you visualize the entire atmosphere once they are going to fair as you must have also observed you before the fair starts on the roads in the streets some vendors are lined on the sides uh, selling toys and the other stuff and you are also mesmerized attracted by those toys and being a child you stop at every single store all the vendor on the road side and you want to buy everything so the same thing happens also with the child and now and then when he is left behind being fascinated by the toys lining on the roads lining on the sides of the roads he is being called by his mother specially chalo beta chalo come child come so the same expression is there let's go for the reading it for reading it come child come called his parents as he lagged behind fascinated another word comes by the toys in the shops that lined the way so he is very obedient child is very understanding one so he is he hurried towards his parents and he is see uh, the use of transport epithet friends feet obedient to their call beautiful expression by the author here only feet are obedient because the attention the heart the mind of the child is still with the toys so only is going mechanically to his parents so he is obedient but only his feet is going to the parents his heart is still there with the toys so very beautiful written over their feet obedient to their call his eyes still lingering lingering staying there for a long time on the receding toys friends another word another imagination another imagery used by receding will have something going back but it is again an optical illusion once you go ahead you feel the toys are getting back the way we feel the trees are going back when our bus or car is going ahead so the toys are receding getting back so is i still staying for a long time upon the toys going back when he goes to his parents as he came to where that stop to wait for him he could not suppress he could not give up he could not hide he could not really suppress the desire of his heart even though he well knew the cold old stare of refusal in their eyes See friends, he well knew 
the cold old stare in their eyes try to understand the expression sometimes sometimes parents don't speak to say no as they wanted to conceal it from the others as they don't really want to make any uh, scene among the people in the public so they simply give a very cold very emotionless very insensitive one cold stare constant look at the child that means no that is the denial refusal of something child has got this stare even before this time frequently again and again many a times so he knows this stare very well so it is an old one so this old cold stare of refusal is understood by the child so without waiting for the answer he moves on so he demands but very faintly he says i want that toy he pleaded he requested but his father looking very angry looked at him very red eyed angrily in his familiar tyrant way familiar tyrant way tyrant means a very wicked cruel dictator kind of person who rules the people who harass and beat and exploit the weak ones so his father is looking very angry like a tyrant and he now and then again and again gives such a look that frightens the boy and makes him understand that the father is very angry he should not demand the things so his mother was not that angry she might have been melted matlab been polite not so much angry mothers and mothers are not so all the time so she was a bit melted by the free spirit of the day the day was of going to the fair so the spirit of the day was very free people had to be free and enjoy the entire onset of the fair free spirit of the day so she was tender soft and just try to divert his attention instead of scolding him giving him her finger to hold and said look child what is before you there was maybe nothing before him it was simply to divert his attention it is it is possible with a 10 year child cannot be done with you and me now what was before the child so before the child it was a mustard field now they were going to enter the mustard field they have to cross this field and go to the another village yeah the friend in the real story there is a very ornamental rich description of the entire mustard field but you are missing it it was a flowering mustard field mustard means gujarati ma raido rai it has got yellow flowers and from distant looks very yellow and promising looking like a golden river in waves in ripples just like the ddlj movie of shahrukh khan he met his beloved kajol in mustard field so the surrounding is very beautiful it was a flowering mustard field looking pale yellow like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles near the world swept all of extended of even land now when the child enters this field he plays with different natural stuffs like there are birds 
there are insects there are number of things are there so how the child passes through that mustard field and enjoys in his own way a group of dragon flies were bustling about on their gaudy gaudy means very showy very bright purple wings the wings are not purple but when the sunlight falls upon it it reflects the colors and it gives the tint of purple color intercepting the flight malab interrupting getting in the way the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers here the sweet juice of flower is called as sweetness the child followed them in the air with his gaze gaze means friends constant look following the butterfly the child followed them in the air with his gaze till one of them till one of them would steal its wings and rest so one of the bee or butterfly stopped flying and rested somewhere at that time the child is trying to catch them catch it but the moment he reaches to it and just about to catch it it would go fluttering and flapping up into the air when he had almost caught it in his hands and at that time the mother gave a very cautionary call the call that makes the child alert alarmed that he has to be ready for something come child come come on to the footpath there is a very small narrow road in the field on which they have to walk to cross the mustard field so he ran towards his parents gaily very happily and walked abreast side by side along with the parents for a while for a while but a very short time being however soon left behind attracted by little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out coming out in great numbers from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine in the winter time these insects have taken the shelter under the soil but now in the spring season with the soothing heat they can come out and enjoy the sunshine again parents called him come child come when they reached to the shed of a grew grew means a field of tree group of trees together so there was a well and they seated on the edge of the well so the child now ran towards them a shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the grove and forgetting his parents he began to gather the raining petals in his hands here yeah, the falling flowers from the various trees compared with rain especially their petals 
but lo lo this is friends is an interjection and that is the sound of disappointment the battle that he had collected in the hands had been dropped when he had seen something else so the child friend child's hand has become forgetful he has lot of things to enjoy he is one but the things are so many to enjoy so he is picking up one and forget the previous one he heard the cooing of doves and ran towards his parents shouting the dove the dove the raining petals dropped from his forgotten hands again the transport happy that friend he is forgotten that he is carrying petals in his hands his heart is somewhere else and his hands are totally forgetful of of what he what they have hold held and they have dropped all the collected petals come child come they call to the child who had now gone running in wild capers another word is coming capers means leaping jumping while walking the way the child does the way the children do gone running in wild capers around the banyan tree and gathering him up they took the narrow winding footpath which led to the fair to the mustard field as they neared the village the child could see many of the footpath full of throngs converging one word is there friend for you that is converging to the whirlpool of the fair converging matlab getting diverted getting getting closer to the whirlpool the way the, the people move in the fair in a circulatory motion it looks like a whirlpool from the distance so converging to the whirlpool of the fair and felt at once repelled and fascinated these are two contrasting feelings and expressions having seen the throng of people he felt very disgusted that is repelled oh a lot of people are there so congested and fascinated wow the fair is there i'm going to enter the very so attracted so both the feelings are mixed see the see the way the things are presented how keen the observation of the author is salute to mulk raj anand by the confusion of the world he was entering a sweet meat seller hawked gulab jamun rasgulla barfi jalebi at the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed up it was heavily gathered and pushing around the around his counter at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets the sweets are given the shapes of different kind of animals or many different shapes are given over there so it is very attractive for the children they are decorated with leaves of silver and gold in india it is a fashion just to make the sweets looking more attractive they covered with silver and golden leaves the child stared open eyed and his mouth watered for barfi that was his favorite sweet and he demanded i want that barfi but very slowly he only simply murmured because he knew though he demands he would never be granted for that because he knew that old cold refusal but he half knew as he begged that his player would never be heeded because his parents would say he is greedy see his parents has got different reasons to say no for sweets he would say he would be said he is greedy for everything they got reason to refuse because the main reason is that they are poor they cannot afford all these things this is the pathetic condition of the child and that is very natural that he 
dislikes his parents he disgust he hates his parents being very little child so without waiting for an answer he really moved on <clears throat> a flower seller a garland of gulmor gulmor is one of the flowery trees beautiful scarlet red maroon red flowers are there a garland of gulmor the child seemed irresistibly drawn irresistibly without inable to stop or suppress himself highly desirous drawn means attracted he went towards the basket where the flowers lay heaped and half murmured i want that garland but he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap another reason for say no so without waiting for an answer he moved on another demand a man stood holding a pole with yellow red green purple balloons flying from it the child was simply carried away another word for being attracted see friends for the same expression we have different words fascinated irresistibly drawn carried away attracted by the rainbow glory matlab the glory of the rainbow color balloons of the silken colors and the colors are very bright in the sunshine they are looking with compared with silk silken colors and he was filled with an overwhelming irrepressible again something difficult to control overwhelming something that makes you highly emotional desire to possess them all but he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to play friends too old to play he was so old that he should not play with them he is now not little to play with the balloons with such toys so he walked on further without making a bold request then comes snake charmer madari stood playing uh, sapera stood playing a flute that beam that pungi that we have seen in the earlier chapter in bismillah khan shrenai uh, so he walked on further itself in a basket sorry flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket its head snake's head raised in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan swan you must have seen the neck like this so a very graceful neck shape is compared with a snake while the music stole into its invisible ears again another expression beautiful one music stole in the invisible ears as you know the snakes don't have ears they cannot hear so as the ears are not visible still we feel it is an illusion it is a wrong information that we have the snakes actually sway or move on the tunes of the on the flute actually they move with the movements of the flute so here the music which is not heard by the snake so it is entering into its ears which are not there a quietly so it is given the word is stall still the past tense of still is stall so very quietly moving into its ear actually the music is not entering the ear snake is not able to hear but this is the way how murkaraj anand calls it the way the people see is put in the same way when we enter the wood and we can hear the rippling of the waterfall but because of the undergrowth in the woods we cannot see the waterfall which is quite distant in spite of it being very much close we can hear the sound of the waterfall but we cannot see the waterfall so the gentle rippling of the invisible waterfall is compared with the music that is stolen into the ears of snake very ornamental
So the child went towards the snake charmer, but knowing his parents had forbidden him. Forbidden. Another word comes, friends. Denied, prohibited. To hear such coarse, very rough, very noisy music as a snake charmer plays. Another reason not to fulfill his demand. So he proceeded, moved ahead, moved further, farther. Now comes the roundabout. There was a roundabout in full swing. Men, women, and children carried away. Now this carried away is different from that carried away. They are carried by the roundabout and moved round and round in whirling motion. That is the carried away. Carried away in a whirling motion, in a circulatory motion. As they were enjoying, they were shrieking, screaming, and cried, shouting with dizzy laughter. Dizzy means mad like. Now child could not stop him, could not hold him. The child watched them intently and then he made a bold request. I want to go on that roundabout, please father and mother. But but there was no reply. He turned to look at his parents. They were not there ahead of him. He turned to look at either side. They were not there. He looked behind. There was no sign of them. Friend, this is where he lost his parents. This is where he lost his parents. So from here, we'll go for the second part of the chapter. We'll soon meet for the second part. So thank you for today. And soon we'll meet for the second part of the same chapter. Thank you, friends.